That is so beautiful. I wonder if I can be her someday. Came to my mind when I wrapped up watching Cinderella. Imagine a nine-year-old seeing a handsome prince and simple woman get married, being driven in a couch with flowers, birds, and people celebrating their love. Yes, I was super fascinated by the story and the idea of finding a Prince Charming to live happily ever after in life. With the same excitement, I ran and told my parents, Mom, Dad, I really want to be exactly like Cinderella. Marry a prince, live in a castle, own everything I wanted, and live happily ever after in life. As much as I hope, my parents will excite me with that imagination, but no. Marry a prince cannot give you happiness ever after, really, because life is wider than what you think, full of challenges. If you want to get things that you wanted, you need to earn them. Don't depend on anyone, not even a prince, not even us, my parents said. Although I didn't quite understand their intention behind it, but their answer opened up a whole new perspective for me. That saying, has changed my life's vision and mission. I am going to be my Prince Charming and hustling to build my castle. Well, little did I know, people's opinion and salty experiences would come in the way while on the way of pathing my life. But let me walk you through my life. In school, I wasn't a class topper, nor an outstanding kid that every parent wished for. And it was a typical situation when people always made fun of my heights and did not take me seriously. And I didn't have many friends that would go all ears. But you know what? Whatever it was, I decided to not just focus on that surface and go deeper into it and find meanings. Because when life throws lemon at you, make lemonade. You have to make use of the things that you have and be a powerhouse. Well. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? And comes to the next step of my career, which is the entertainment industry, something that I am passionate about, love every bit of it. But oh well, the saltiness of people judging, delivering their own set of opinions sometimes overwhelm me. Really, you are not that pretty to be a lead. Oh, you are so short. How can you compete with the rest? And when I scored a few lead roles, they said, hmm, actually your acting is too basic. The audiences would wait for someone with a better acting skill and blah, blah, blah. And when I was so focused on studying while working, feeding up myself with an unlimited knowledge, people still questioned me. Why would I be busy studying when all I will end up with as a woman is to be a mother and take care of the house? I'm so tired of that. But this one stopped me. I kept on rowing and rowing my boat and step up my game by being behind the screen as a producer. And when they say I am too young for this, yes, correct. I am young and hungry for more chances and opportunities. But not only that, as a woman, it is always, always a perfect time for us to create a new milestone whether or not a guy is on our way. So, if you came to the Den Prilly and asked for advice, she probably need a huge hug and your shoulder to cry on. But if you come to the Now Prilly, she will ask you to shatter the glass ceiling. Meghan Markle, my inspiration once said, with fame comes opportunity, but it also includes responsibility to advocate and share, to less focus on glass slippers, but more on pushing through glass ceiling. And if I am lucky enough, to inspire. I want to see more of that from Indonesians, women, and girls. So here's the deal. Have you ever heard four Ps? Passion, persistence, patience, and pray? Those four powerful words have changed my life slowly but steady since the day I decided to believe in them. Passion. Not everyone is lucky enough to know what they are after in life. 
the purpose in life at an early age. Some might discover their passion in their 30s or even their 50s. So if you haven't found it, create one. Because you know what? Our generation is like the luckiest. We are exposed to everything. Answers to your curiosity are available everywhere. So ladies, keep learning. Keep discovering yourself things that spark joy in you and brings joy to you and your surroundings. Persistence. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. Ada kadabra. No. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. I still remember what I was the first time I stepped my foot into this industry versus now as someone who met the list of Forbes 30 under 30. It had never, never been an easy journey for me. But if Dory was able to keep swimming and found Nemo in the deepest ocean, of course you could. So I encourage all of you to put your strongest focus on what you really most and pursue that without a second thought. Patience. Everything is not meant to be forced because everything has its own timeline. Thomas Alpha Edison, he made a thousand unsuccessful attempts at inventing a light bulb. Even the great scientists went through failures before giving the humankind a better life. So sometimes you just need to trust in the process and that's totally okay to make mistakes. And the last P is pray. If you put 80% of your effort, the rest 20% of it should be your faith. Keep moving forward and be grateful. Failure number one, you learn from it and keep trying. But what about failure number 274? Same. You learn from it and keep pushing. Evaluate yourself and do it again, do it again. Do your part and let God do the rest. Failures are experience. And experience is your best teacher. So the conclusion is, Veilers are important. To all of you, my journey might look smooth as silk, but to be honest, I did bump into some failures. It was a rocky journey. I have been in every direction, south, north, west, east, failed business plans to unsuccessful films. But you know what? What's important is they made me continue evaluating myself. So I have plan B to Z and I still have more to learn for a better myself. So your fear of failure should come less because if you fail, the more you fail, the more you know what life has in store for you and you will understand you can learn more about what's best for you. So fail, but get up the next minute, be resilient. And I want to ask a question to all my fellow ladies here and all the audience. Are you all ready to shatter, break, and destroy the glass ceiling to fly to a greater heights? Let's do it together, guys, and see you guys on top. Thank you very much.